What time is it? It's prayer time. Today we gather to explore a timeless struggle that many of us face, the journey from fear to faith, conquering spiritual anxiety. In a world filled with uncertainty, it's easy to succumb to fear, allowing it to grip our hearts and cloud our minds. But as people of faith, we are called to rise above fear and embrace the transformative power of faith. Firstly, let us recognize that fear is a natural human emotion. It's okay to feel afraid at times, but we must not let fear control us. Instead, we must turn to our faith as a beacon of hope in the midst of our anxieties. As the scripture reminds us, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. To conquer spiritual anxiety, we must cultivate a deep trust in the divine providence of God. We must believe that even in the darkest moments, God is with us, guiding us and holding us in his loving embrace. We must nourish our faith through prayer and meditation. By surrendering our fears to God in prayer, we open ourselves to receive his peace that surpasses all understanding. As the Apostle Paul encourages us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us draw strength from the stories of faith heroes who have gone before us. From Abraham to Moses to David, these biblical figures faced their own fears and uncertainties, yet they remain steadfast in their trust in God. Their examples remind us that we too can overcome our spiritual anxieties through unwavering faith. Let us remember that true faith is not the absence of fear, but the courage to face our fears head on, knowing that we are not alone. As we embark on this journey from fear to faith, may we be encouraged by the words of Jesus who said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Let us walk in faith, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. Together, let us conquer our spiritual anxieties and embrace the abundant life that God has promised us. Let us be vigilant in guarding our hearts and minds against the onslaught of fear that the world may try to instill in us. Instead, let us fill our minds with the promises of God's word and our hearts with the assurance of his unfailing love. Let us support one another in our faith journeys, lifting each other up in prayer and encouragement. As the body of Christ, we are called to bear one another's burdens and share in each other's joys. Let us be proactive in addressing the root causes of our spiritual anxieties, whether it be through seeking professional help, engaging in healthy coping mechanisms, or deepening our relationship with God, let us take practical steps towards conquering our fears. Above all, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. He is the ultimate example of courage in the face of adversity, and His love casts out all fear. As we abide in Him, may we find the strength and peace we need to overcome every obstacle that stands in our way. Let us also recognize the importance of action. Faith without action is like a tree without fruit. It lacks vitality and purpose. When faced with spiritual anxiety, it's easy to become paralyzed by fear, but true faith compels us to step out in courage and obedience. Let us be proactive in living out our faith, trusting that God will meet us in our obedience. Whether it's reaching out to someone in need, standing up for justice, or pursuing a dream that God has placed in our hearts, let us not allow fear to hold us back. As James, the brother of Jesus, reminds us, faith by by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. James 2.17. Our faith is demonstrated not only in what we believe, but also in how we live our lives. Let us be known as people whose faith is evident in our words, deeds, and attitudes. Let us draw strength from the promises of Scripture as we step out in faith. As Joshua was commanded before entering the promised land, so too are we reminded. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let let us surrender our fears and anxieties to God, knowing that He is in control of all things. As we take bold steps of faith, let us trust in His perfect plan and timing, knowing that He works all things together for our good and His glory. The writer of Hebrews encourages us, saying, Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Hebrews 12, 1, 2. Like runners in a race, we must keep our eyes fixed on the prize, Jesus Christ, and press on with determination and resolve. 
we're getting ready to pray. But before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today with hearts burdened by fear and weighed down by spiritual anxiety. We confess that at times the worries of this world overwhelm us and we find ourselves struggling to trust in your unfailing love and provision. But we know, Lord, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Help us to embrace this truth and to turn to you in faith, knowing that you are our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, we ask for your guidance and strength as we journey from fear to faith. Help us to surrender our anxieties to you, casting all our cares upon you, for you care for us deeply. Grant us the courage to face our fears head on, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and to trust in your promises even when circumstances seem bleak. Lord, we pray for a renewed sense of faith and hope to rise within us, banishing the shadows of fear and doubt. May your Holy Spirit empower us to walk in confidence and boldness, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. Father, we lift up to you all those who are struggling with spiritual anxiety today. May they find comfort and strength in your presence and may your peace reign in their hearts. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your constant presence with us. As we continue on this journey from fear to faith, may your name be glorified in our lives. Lord, we confess that too often we allow fear to overshadow our faith. We worry about the uncertainties of the future, the challenges of the present, and the mistakes of the past. But you remind us that you are the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles. Help us, Lord, to surrender our fears to you completely, trusting in your goodness and faithfulness. Give us the courage to step out in faith, knowing that you are with us always, guiding us and leading us in your perfect will. Lord, we pray for your peace to reign in our hearts, dispelling every trace of fear and anxiety. Help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, who endured the cross for the joy set before him, and to follow his example of unwavering faith. Grant us, O Lord, the strength to overcome every obstacle that stands in the way of our faith. May your Spirit empower us to conquer our fears and to walk in the freedom and victory that you have secured for us through your Son, Jesus Christ. We lift up to you, Lord, all those who are struggling with spiritual anxiety. Comfort them with your presence. Reassure them of your love and strengthen their faith in you. May your name be glorified, O Lord, as we journey from fear to faith, trusting in your promises and resting in your unfailing love. Lord, help us to release our fears into your capable hands. Give us the courage to surrender our anxieties to you, knowing that you are our rock and our fortress, our refuge and our strength in times of trouble. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Grant us, O Lord, the wisdom to discern your will and the strength to walk in obedience. Help us to trust in your perfect timing and to rest in your sovereign plan for our lives. Give us the faith to believe that you are working all things together for our good, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. Father, we pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit to renew our faith and revive our spirits. Help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and to follow him with unwavering trust and devotion. May your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us through the darkness of fear into the glorious light of faith. Lord, we lift up to you all those who are struggling with spiritual anxiety. Comfort them with your presence, strengthen them with your grace, and fill them with your peace. Help them to know that they are not alone, but that you are with them always, holding them in your loving embrace. Lord, help us to release the stronghold of fear in our lives and embrace the abundance faith you offer. Grant us the strength to trust in your promises, knowing that you are faithful and true. May your spirit fill us with courage and confidence, enabling us to overcome every obstacle that stands in the way of our faith. Father, we pray for the wisdom to discern your voice amidst the chaos of our fears. Guide us in your truth and lead us on paths of righteousness for your name's sake. 
Father, our hearts burdened by fear and anxiety, but we trust in your power to overcome all obstacles. Lord, help us to surrender our fears and worries to you, knowing that you are our refuge and strength in times of trouble. Father, we pray for the courage to step out in faith, even when uncertainty surrounds us, trusting in your promises to guide and protect us. Lord, grant us the wisdom to discern your voice amidst the noise of our fears and the strength to follow where you lead. Father, fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and to walk boldly in his footsteps. Father, we pray for a deepening of our faith as we confront the fears that seek to paralyze us, strengthening our belief in your promises and your power. Lord, quiet the storms within us and replace our fears with a steadfast confidence in your goodness and your sovereignty. Father, help us to surrender control and place our trust entirely in your sovereign hands, knowing that you hold all things in your care. Lord, we lift up to you all those who are struggling with fear and spiritual anxiety, asking for your peace and comfort to surround them. Father, may your spirit empower us to walk in faith, trusting in your unfailing love and provision, even when circumstances seem bleak. Lord, grant us the strength to overcome our fears through faith in you, experiencing the freedom and joy that come from trusting in your promises. Father, may your light shine brightly within us, illuminating the darkness and leading us into a place of abundant life. Lord, help us to remember that you are always with us, guiding us and leading us into your perfect will, even in the midst of uncertainty. Certainty. Father, we pray for a spirit of courage to rise within us, enabling us to face our fears head on and conquer them with your strength. Lord, quiet the voices of doubt and uncertainty that plague our minds and replace them with your truth and assurance. Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may walk in the power and authority you have given us, overcoming every obstacle in our path. Lord, help us to trust in your perfect timing, knowing that you are working all things together for our good, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. Father, may your peace reign in our hearts, your wisdom guide our steps, and your love sustain us through every trial and tribulation. Lord, help us to cultivate a heart of gratitude, focusing on your goodness and faithfulness, rather than dwelling on our fears and anxieties. Father, grant us the courage to step out of our comfort zones and into the unknown, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Lord, help us to stand firm on your promises, even when the storms of life rage around us, knowing that you are our firm foundation. Father, may your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding us through the darkness of fear into the glorious light of faith. Lord, help us to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, casting down every fear and anxious thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of you. Father, grant us the courage to be vulnerable with you and with others, laying our fears and anxieties at your feet and seeking your healing and restoration. Lord, help us to cultivate a spirit of gratitude and praise focusing on your goodness and faithfulness rather than dwelling on our fears and anxieties. Father, may your love cast out all fear from our hearts, filling us with your perfect peace and assurance. Lord, help us to cultivate a spirit of humility, recognizing our dependence on you and your strength to overcome our fears and anxieties. Father, grant us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow where you lead, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. Lord, help us to surrender our fears and anxieties to you in prayer, knowing that you are always listening and ready to comfort and guide us. Father, may your spirit empower us to walk in faith, trusting in your promises and your provision, even when circumstances seem bleak. Lord, help us to meditate on your word day and night, filling our minds and hearts with your truth and assurance rather than the lies of fear and doubt. Father, grant us the strength to resist the enemy's attacks of fear and anxiety, standing firm on your promises and your power to overcome. Lord, help us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and to trust in his unfailing love and provision. Father, may your peace guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, freeing us from the grip of fear and anxiety and filling us with your perfect peace. Lord, help us to surrender our need for control and place our trust entirely in your sovereign plan, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. We decree and declare that fear has no power over us, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1, 7. We decree and declare that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us, and nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Romans 8, 37, 39. We decree and declare that the Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the stronghold of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? 
Psalm 27, 1. We decree and declare that when we pass through the waters, the Lord is with us, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm us. When we walk through fire, we shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume us. Isaiah 43, 2. We decree and declare that we will trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding, acknowledging Him in all our ways, and He will make our paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. We decree and declare that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. We decree and declare that we will cast all our anxieties on the Lord because he cares for us. 1 Peter 5, 7. We decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. We decree and declare that we will not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we will let our requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6. We decree and declare that the Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Psalm 46, 1, 2. We decree and declare that we will set our minds on things above, not on earthly things, for our life is hidden with Christ in God. Colossians 3, 2, 3. We decree and declare that the joy of the Lord is our strength and his peace will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Nehemiah 8.10, Philippians 4.7. We decree and declare that we will be strong and courageous, not afraid or discouraged, for the Lord our God is with us wherever we go. Joshua 1.9. We decree and declare that we will wait patiently for the Lord, and He will incline to us and hear our cry. He will lift us out of the pit of despair and set our feet on solid ground. Psalm 41.2. We decree and declare that though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will feel Fear no evil, for the Lord is with us. His rod and his staff, they comfort us. Psalm 23, 4. We decree and declare that the Lord will fight for us. We need only to be still. Exodus 14, 14. We decree and declare that we will be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we will let our requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, 7. We decree and declare that the Lord is our rock and our fortress and our deliverer. Our God is our rock in whom we take refuge, our shield and the horn of our salvation, our stronghold. Psalm 18, 2. We decree and declare that we will not fear for the Lord is with us. We will not be dismayed for he is our God. He will strengthen us and help us. He will uphold us with his righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. We decree and declare that we will trust in the Lord forever for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Isaiah 26, 4. We decree and declare that we will seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto us. Matthew 6, 33. We decree and declare that we will be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, we will let our requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, 7. We decree and declare that the Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the stronghold of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. We decree and declare that we will trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways we will acknowledge him and he will make our paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. We decree and declare that we will not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, we will let our requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, 7. As we journey from fear to faith, Lord, may your name be glorified in our lives. May your light shine brightly through us, drawing others to you and bringing hope to the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.